Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Muramasa Rebirth. Anyways, last episode we left off, we didn't really jump in with any story, we just kind of got right into the action, and now we get to go and fight our first boss. You sense the presence of an of a powerful enemy. Are you sure you want to proceed? Yes. Now finding bosses and stuff is usually where you find story. <laughs> じゃが Talk, speak with other characters to gather information. The story will progress after talking to everyone. Oh, damn. Used to it usually. あの、はけば一息に命を絶つな。いやと言うなら是非もない。ナブリギリで楽には死ねぬぞ。何の話か皆目見当がつかねえな。知ってりゃ教えもできようが、覚えのないことは答えようがねえや。気がついた時には頭から過去
no shit. And that was the point of trying to remember. God damn, that special move sucks. Get out of the way. Go! kind of scared that I might have jumped in the way of an attack for a second. Well, that was difficult. I remember the first time I played Muramasa. These bosses were difficult because these controls were so weird for me. <laughs> Ooh, got a new sword. Using this demon blade, you can now destroy red barriers. もし、お侍様、ことの始終を拝見させていただきました。その腕を見込んで、立っての願いがございます。私は譲る派と申す不死身の狐にございます。畜生の身でこうして祭り出ましたのは深い訳があってのこと古くは稲荷明神が小梶宗近殿の相づちを務めましたように我ら剣族ゆかりある刀工に力を貸しておりまするされど我らの力のみでは聖願長寿相なら あなた様に素顔を思いでこうしてお頼みする次第にございます我らが願いお聞き届けいただけましょうやわざわざ綺麗どころに化けてのお膳立てだ話ぐらいは聞いてやるぜ俺に何をさせよってんだただ刀を使
そうは言っても敵本陣に俺一人心もとなく思ったところへ濡れ手に阿波の妖刀村政とはありがてえ朝になって刀が棒っきれにすり替わったりしねえんなら少々バカされたって話には乗るだろうぜ Okay Equipping a blade. You've acquired a new blade. To equip this weapon, press start to open the menu and then select equipment. Yeah, I kind of figured that part already. Yes, I know. You are a sword, actually. Celestial Eve. Hellspinner. I am almost certain that you're a lot better. And of course, yes, you kind of do want to get weapons that have more attack power. The later... The further you Okay, well, I completely forgot about him popping up to talk, so... Sorry if I sort of end... Well, knowing me, I'll mute it right before I start talking as he pops up. The Forge. Well, in this screen, you can have Muramasa create new demon blades for you. To forge a blade, you will need the souls of your vanquished enemies and spiritual energy, which you gain by eating food. Also, you can only forge blades in the order they appear in the blade lineage tree. By completing a specific path, you will be able to create the blade you are striving to acquire, so plan accordingly when it comes time to forge a blade. <clears throat> Another thing is, some blades you actually won't be able to acquire. I think it's the boxed blades that you see are the ones you will get from bosses and such. And in this game, there are areas... I forgot what they're called, but they're like these temples that you go into. Or spiritual realms or something that you go into to fight like specific enemies, hordes, and things like that. Where you'll also get some of the weapons. Because if you're wanting to get every weapon, you will have to beat all of those as well. Otherwise, you won't be able to forge every single sword in the game. Anyways, let's see. Let's go back to the top. Uh, where was the one I just got, actually? Oh, I just saw your icon, didn't I? Oh, wait, no. I'm on Momohime now. What am I doing? It's like, yeah, let's go over to her. It's like, it's the right path, isn't it? <laughs> Mirage Blade acquired. Yeah, I'm already out of spirit. <laughs> uh, that was kind of fun for a bit. <clears throat> but anyways, um, how do we bring up... Oh, that's right. To bring up the map, you hold, you press select. and it... You can either have it gone, large, or just kind of there under your blade. Destination. You're f if you're not sure where to go next, press select to bring up the map and check where you should be heading. In addition, pressing R while the map is enlarged will allow you to move around the map. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, man, I completely forgot everything I was trying to say when Muramasa came up to talk. I think I hate sometimes with games. I'll start talking about something. I'm not paying it. I don't realize that dialogue is coming. And then it's just like everything I was trying to say just completely disappears from my mind. It's like... <sighs> okay, that just slows us down by jumping. I'm so used to dashing and jumping in Mega Man. Not fair that I can't do it here. 
Eh, this is barely slowing me down, but yeah, I don't want to make this like a really long trip just because I want to jump. I'm surprised I haven't run into any enemies yet. I'm guessing it's. Oh, wait! Oh, that's right, I am using it. Jumping down from above. Quickly press down on the L pad on the uh, L pad to drop down from a tree branch or other high places. Oh, I kind of pointed that out already. Seriously, no enemies? Oh, I kind of like some experience. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. Honestly, if you have a Vita, I would recommend this game to you. This is a fun game no matter what. It has plenty of replayability. And then, you know, six character stories you can go through. It's definitely worth it. Oh, nothing there. Yamashiro. Okay. Let's find some souls not here, apparently. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to go through those places, because you can typically find items in there, maybe some enemies to fight for additional experience. Of course, if you're trying to speedrun the game, for that trophy or just speed running in general then yeah you would wanna avoid doing that yeah man I know he's dead I wish you could just leave I mean a lot of the areas you can leave really quickly just to uh, damn it. fastest way to kill them is just do your up slash quickly because you usually you usually repel the attack back at her and then hit her with your blade as well uh, did I go in there yes I pretty sure that was where I was She's dead. I won. Oh, she was already de she was already dead to begin with. And oh wait, there's an item in here somewhere. Where are you? <clears throat> Come on. Uh, the item is somewhere out. The item's always somewhere out. And the, oh, there it is. Bronze mirror. What were the bronze mirrors again? I know I'm able to use the map. On the screen, yes, I know, I know, I know. Supplies. Oh, okay. That's actually really useful for when you're trying to run around quickly or speed running. Actually, what is this way? Oh my god, I gotta sneeze. Mmm, what do I have to sneeze? There we are. We don't need to go that way, so obviously we're not going to run any further there. Not gonna bother with the rooms for now. You usually find more of nothing or just enemies when you go in there anyway, so... の
Alright, that's another thing I really don't like about having the X button is your all-around button. Actually, can I change that? I know I can change my jump, but is there... No. Damn. I really wish there was an option just... Swap your all-around button to circle. That way I still have X for jumping, but I'm not jumping every time I talk to something or pick an item up. It's the only thing I don't like about this game. It's a tiny little nitpick, but yeah. <clears throat> but anyways, we're going to end this episode off here because of the time. So as usual, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all tomorrow with some more Let's Play Muramasa Rebirth. So until then, I'll see you later, guys.